All right, round two. We're going to make this video a second time. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. Pretty tired, so if you guys could drop a like on this video, that would be much appreciated. Um, season one and the battle pass just barely came out for the Cycle Frontier. Just wanted to give you guys a little look on the Fortuna Pass, their battle pass for this season, and let you guys decide if something that you would like or not but uh, either way I'd just like to run through it real quick with you guys and uh, starting off at tier 1 looks like we have the marshals a new prospector so chest gloves boots pieces can be used with other prospectors and this is stuff that's obviously not going to go away with like a seasonal wipe um, tier 2 little crate with some some goodies here um, tier 3, the Marshall skin for the AR-55. Not bad. A free AR-55. XP boost. Um, some insurance tokens for your gear. Uh, another free crate with some stuff. Um, tier 8, we have a spray. Uh, 100 arm. Arm is like... Um, currency basically you buy stuff with on this game you can pay real money to get arm so 100 arm it's like a dollar uh, another crate uh, tier 11 we get the peacekeepers baton melee skin not bad not bad another free crate tier 13 we have a martial weapons charm it's called the martial bat charm not bad not bad More tokens, more XP boost, a banner, first to fight, pretty cool. Uh, more Aurum, more insurance tokens, another crate, this time with some weapons and some ammo. XP boost, the Marshall skin for the C32, the bolt action, uh, free bolt action. A good clap emote, which I'm going to assume the guy is just clapping. Emotes don't preview for some reason on this game for me, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, another supply grate, this time with some grenades and some ammo. Some stims as well. XP boost. A new prospector, the bounty hunter. This guy looks pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Some more insurance tokens. A another crate. Some guns and some ammo. More Aurum. Another crate with some supplies this time. Uh, the Marshall Scarab skin. Not bad. Gun's alright. i give you a free one just so you, I guess you could try it out if you don't have it yet. Some more Aurum. More insurance tokens. XP boost. Uh, some more tokens. Some more tokens. Uh, it's a Korolov crate, so it's got some mining tools and some, some shields, a little bit of gear there. We got some more XP boost. Uh, the Marshall skin for the Manticore. Not bad. A Manticore, some more tokens. Um, a spray. More XP boost. Some more Aurum. Supply crate with some grenades, some stims, some ammo. Some goodies, I guess. More tokens. A mid crate, so heals pretty much. More XP boost. A another prospector titled Peace Officer. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Some more insurance tokens. A resource crate with uh, some good stuff this time, actually. Some more Aurum. Um... Some more XP boost and the martial skin for the Phasic Lancer. Not bad, not bad. I like this gun a lot actually. They give you a free one. Another crate, uh, this time with some blue uh, helmets and shields with some green backpacks. Not bad. Some more Aurum, some more XP boost, and the martial skin for your drop pod. Interesting. Some more insurance tokens, a another resource crate, uh, some decent stuff, I guess. The alien thing charm actually looks pretty good. I'd rock it. XP boost. 
The Marshall skin for the Maelstrom. Probably my favorite gun. Pretty fun gun. And I'll give you a free one right there. Some more Aurum. Insurance tokens, XP boost, insurance tokens, some Aurum. Uh, actually, this resource crate gives you some pretty good gear. Not like gear, but like uh, some pretty good loot. This one gives you some good loot or some good gears. A couple, a purple shield, purple helmet, and then eh, some basic tools, honestly. A, another XP boost. Marshall skin for the hammer. Pretty cool. I've yet to use this gun. I give you a freebie right there. Some more Aurum, some more insurance tokens, another 25% XP boost, another mid crate, uh, some good heals I guess, some more insurance tokens, a another banner, the special operations unit, pretty cool, another crate, looks like with some uh, blue rarity uh, items in that, the martial skin for the comrade. Um, have not used this weapon either. Some more insurance tokens. The Marshall skin for the Core 47. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Give you a free Gorgon, or Gorgon, I guess, however you want to say that. And another supply crate, some grenades, um, some ammo, not bad. Another XP boost. A new melee weapon, the Bounty Hunter's Wrecker. That looks pretty cool actually. Uh, some more Aurum. Scream to the heavens emote. I imagine it's the guy going to his knees looking up at the sky, but once again it's kind of bugged and doesn't preview for me. Another whip, or another crate that's uh, going to be three blue backpacks, three helmets, uh, and three blue armor. Like, uh, pretty good. Uh, XP boost. Another crate with some uncommons and then some epic loot. Um, finally we have the martial skin for the karma which I don't believe a lot of people have unlocked so something to look forward to I guess. More tokens, more orum and finally for tier 100 you unlock the apex bounty hunter skin. I say it looks pretty cool. I'd rock it. And to level up the battle pass, you are going to get XP by completing daily actions. Uh, looks like the first ones I have are the following, so. Yeah, overall not too bad. Uh, should cost you around 10 to $13 depending on which country you're in, so. Um, yeah, once again, that's the battle pass for season one of the Cycle Frontier. If you guys could drop a like, it'd be greatly appreciated and um yeah hope everybody's doing well and uh i will see you guys in the next video